this beautiful lady here posted a video saying that she's gluten intolerant. She says that when she eats wheat-based products in the United States, she gets violently ill. But she says that she started eating flour-based products from Europe, and she has no reaction. All right, so go check out Andy Does Healthy's video on this topic. She explains how different varieties of wheat, some that are more prominent in the U.S., could potentially have more gluten than some varieties that are more prominent in Europe. So if you have a sensitivity to gluten, this is why you could potentially react differently to different varieties of wheat. Now, inevitably, when anyone talks about gluten sensitivity or just wheat in general, there are a lot of different myths that tend to get brought up time and time again. So I want to cover off on some of those other myths as well. All right, so a lot of people think this is due to something with the glyphosate on wheat, and I think there is this false narrative that just all wheat is just sprayed uncontrollably with glyphosate, which couldn't be farther from the truth. So glyphosate is approved for dry down on wheat, but it's used in less than 3% of wheat acres in the U.S. In addition to that, it's used very sparingly so that the amount on the food that you would end up consuming would be at parts per billion levels. Just like pesticide residue levels on organic and conventional foods, these levels would be far below any harmful level. And there is no evidence to show that there is even a glyphosate sensitivity, especially with these very, very low, almost undetectable levels. That's not for a lack of evidence either. Um, glyphosate is one of the most researched pesticides in our food supply. There's a lot of misinformation regarding pesticides and glyphosate specifically. I have Instagram highlights on both of these topics if you would like to learn more. In addition to that, I always hear something about GMO wheat being brought up. There is no commercially available GMO wheat here in the U.S. or in Europe. There is one variety of drought-tolerant GMO wheat that was just approved in October of last year, and that was only approved in Argentina. In addition to that, even if there was, GMO doesn't just mean bad or harmful. Um, GMO is specifically referring to one specific genetic modification technique. I have a lot of information on that in my GMO highlight on Instagram as well. Of course, there are different hybrids and different varieties of wheat both here in the U.S. and in Europe. These have been genetically modified but are not considered to be GMO. Okay, lastly, uh, Europe imports quite a bit of wheat from the U.S., so this is really where that argument just really falls apart because it's not even like they're just two completely different supplies of wheat. Um, we import and export from both places. So we're using the same wheat. Lastly, I want to reiterate that if you have celiacs, please do not eat wheat in any country. This is where this misinformation can become very harmful. If someone with celiacs sees this and thinks they can eat wheat safely in Europe, that could be very harmful. 